Hey y'all, Jim Panky here. Got a tune that probably need to talk about. It's a bugle call rag and super popular tune. You know, it's off the Foggy Mountain banjo album, but I'm gonna give you a way to play it. Hopefully get you through it. And uh it and I say this every time, <laughs> it's not all that hard. If you've been through my other lessons, and if, you, if you've done the Foggy Mountain Breakdown lesson, especially if you've done the Foggy Mountain Breakdown Expansion Pack, there's a little link, uh, then, then you should be good to go on this. Now, it's got a couple of different things, but one of the things it does have is it's, it's chimes or harmonics. And I'm just going to demonstrate it. And try to explain it. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take your finger. I use my middle finger, but you can use any finger you want, and you're going to just touch at the 12th fret. Right? Don't press down. Don't be behind the fret. Don't be in front of the fret. Just directly over the string. Just touch it. Let's see if I can get up here, kind of close, and show you what's going on. So you're just going to touch that string just barely touch it scoot back here in my straight back chair uh you're gonna touch it and then when you hit it it'll chime and it basically what's happening is you've split the string into two parts at the 12th fret so if i touch it at the 12 this half of the string is making a little loop and this half of the string up here is making a little loop and so it's an octave higher and so you're, you're going to have to sit and practice that you do each string and you can do those chimes the the easiest the, you can do them all over but the easiest places to do them is at the 12 you just touch it and once you once you've hit it you can actually take your finger off and it, it'll continue to ring that as a matter of fact once you've hit it you can take your finger off and you can put it back and it still chimes <laughs> because it, it's not really moving that much right at that fret. You can do them at the seventh fret and you can do them at the fifth fret. And that's probably going to be the hardest one for you. Just, just practice. But those are chimes. And uh, so... And with those, you can do you can do pretty much any bugle call that you can think of. Those are all the notes you need, and you can do them all. You can, from taps. To meal call, to call the colors, whatever, whatever you want to, to do, you can do them all right there. Uh, so those are your chimes, and so that's what this this song starts out with. So it starts with uh, so that's all at the twelfth fret, and. So I would recommend Hunt and Peck it. Find that, find that chime. But I'll call them out to you. But really, it will do you a lot of good just to sit and peck around for those notes. But here we go. So, so four, three, three, two, three, four, three, three, two, three, three, two. And then we start into our song now it's a little lead-in and it's real you know it's not not complex so it's just a three note lead-in and, and what it's going to lead into is a bunch is, is a bunch of licks and it's just I used to play with a group and we do these songs like this and, and they say it, or it'd be one that I might not rec remember and they say oh it's that one you know it starts on a G and then it's just garbage in G and then garbage in C and, and all they meant was that it was just 
it was just licks. It, it could be anything you wanted it to be. And in this case, it genuinely can. It can be anything you want it to be. It's a lot like doing banjos where the recognizable parts are the, the recognizable parts and the little quick part is just, just licks. But here's our lead in. I do a walk down and I start at the 12th fret at the second string, 10th fret at the second string, and the 8th fret at the second string. So, and that walks me back. So, from that chime, it walks me back to a really easy place to get a C chord. So what I'm doing there is, is one, two, one, five, two, one, five, and then slide up to that triangle position like we did in Foggy Mountain Breakdown, but it's uh, 12, 11, and 12. So we And all that is is a two, one, two, one, five, Back up to here, one, two, three, one, five, two, one, five. So that's just a, it's, it's a reverse and forward roll. It's just like a forward and reverse, but we do the backwards part first. One, two, three, one, five, two, one, five. So here's what you got. up to the D just like we did in Foggy Mountain Breakdown and so it's in the expansion pack so four or three one two one five two one five back up to this two one two one five two one five and then back to this shape and you can do that same lick as we did a second ago one two three one five two one five two or you can do two two the pinky goes down two two one five two three one two so you, you your choice on that and I'm not exactly sure what I might have done in the demo I, I, I do one or I do the other so and it's just whatever your brain picks it, it, but but learn both of those licks so so you can do or you can do And then it does our walk down again, but this time I do it a little different. Since I'm sitting right here, I can get the same notes by hitting one, and then pinky at the 10th fret, second string, pick a pinky up. Notice that that's the same as that. So instead of sliding all the way up to 12, so we just did a one, two, two, and then it repeats all of that that we just did. One, two, one, five, two, one, five, Two one two one five two one five one two three one five two one five two five two one five two one D chord three one two one two one two one five two one five new lick two two one five two three one two 
Now, that's the first break. And if you're playing it with a group, that might be the only break you need. Because if you go around the jam, you, you might, especially if you're not the guy kicking this thing off as somebody else in the jam session. So that might be all you need. Work on that first break and, and get that smooth. Now let's look at the next break. Now I do, I start it with a chime again. And everybody in the jam will stop and let you do the chime. So, so the chime, this time I do it the fifth fret. It's exactly the same if I would do it the same. So it's four, three, three, two, three, four, three, three, two, three, three, two, one, two, three, four, three. Pitch, slide with a forward roll, three, two, one, five. So, and then I get a C chord, anything in C. So I did a pinch, five, two, one, five, pinch is just the first two strings one and two five two one five two one forward and reverse will work and then a uh, G lick so that's just three one five three with a slide one three two or four golly mom four one three so So you got so five three one three four one. So is our next lick five three one three four one. And then it's our D lick, our four one one lick. So four one one hammer two one, and you can put this finger down if you want. I usually don't. Five two one five one two three one. That's a slide back, or you can do a pull off, and then the G lick again. That takes us to the second part of that break. So here's here's where we are in the break. shake now I'm traveling up the neck a little bit but don't don't be afraid you can do this so it's the index finger on the second string fifth fret and your pinky on the eighth fret that makes a C7 chord and and I'm gonna pinch the first two strings five two one five two one and then a and it's a forward in reverse off the five so pinch And then it's a G lick down here. So. so that all finishes that out. So that whole break. those two breaks those two there's one common I'm gonna show it to you best I can it's risky it's dangerous 
I'll admit that I I hit this lick exactly right, maybe about half the time. Sometimes I just because there's a lot of jumping around, and so it's one that you got to practice a whole lot to to get it smooth. And I don't play this song a lot, so this this little lick is not super smooth but you really you know it's one of those things you kind of got to do it's a rite of passage you learn this lick and you, you be the coolest kid on the block for a long time so and because that's the reason i learned it and and so so the next lick going into the next break is uh it's a vamp lick and it jumps around and feel free to bail out at any time. You you don't you don't have to learn this, but but if you're ready for it and if you've been practicing, start working on this lick. All right, so it starts with a G shape or this F shaped G position, the fifth fret. So five, four, three, and then the pinky on five again, and it does a pinch, and I'm using three fingers. And I pinch it, and then I and I mute it, and I mute it by picking my fingers up, and then I slide all the way up to this next G position, so that and so and then it's four, and so it's four two, and I pinch on three and one, and then I stop it so. So that you gotta practice that. So you, you hear that little sliding business on the in-between, and what that's coming from is I'm leaving my pinky and ring finger on the string. So you, you hear that little slide, and so it's a, it's an effect that, and it sounds pretty good, but it, it it comes out of just trying to keep my position. So That's the first part of that lick, so practice that. That's a big jump. And once you notice it, I'm stopping it. And then we're gonna go from here and we're gonna travel 12 frets all the way up to the 17. And we just need it for a few notes. So it's gonna. So. And we're gonna hit that fourth string while we're sliding down through there. So. So we gotta get all the way up there and get that note. Let me tweak that a little bit. So, so we need that note for four, two, one, and then all the way back down to five, and then on the fourth string, all the way up to uh, what is that? Nine, and then notice we're back in that shape. So. string second string now you're gonna walk that back second string and then your social finger middle finger seventh fret and that's the lick that replaces the bugle call so it's like <laughs> and it's a mouthful So when we go into our C, you've got some choices here. So you've got some choices. So. So 
I slide to that C, and this is on the third string, and the thumb is going to come here, here, or here. Whatever my brain decides, they'll all work, and they're all cool in their own special way. So for just demonstration purposes, we will put it at the eighth fret because it makes a C7 chord. So after that, any roll there will work. So, well, just about any roll. So. So what I just did there was, uh, now that was different and that it was a forward roll and a forward in reverse, which I think is going to make most sense for you. So it's three, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, and then a forward in reverse. And then you're going to pick that all up and we're going to go the a G lick down here. And all this is the same as the second break. So it's a little different chime on the ending, so it's all right, so that's four, four, three, four, three, two, three, 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 two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, four, seventh fret. And then a fifth fret, you're going to pinch one, two, and three. And then if you want to, so you do that pinch, push, push down on the head, push on the neck right here, and it'll make this sound. It just, it's just lightly. You don't have to press, you know, you're not trying to bend the neck off your banjo, but. And then a. And that gets you a bugle call rag. Now that's, this has been a huge lesson. Uh, and thanks for sticking with me. And if you made it all the way to the end of this, good job. Uh, be, I had I had a lot of folks <laughs> sideways here. I had a lot of folks asking me for uh, if I had a Patreon account, and I do. And you can find that at patreon.com forward slash Jim Panky, all one word. And, and you can find that. Really appreciate that. If y'all want to do that, that's super cool. Uh, helps feed the cats who haven't wandered through here. I guess they don't like the bugle call rag. Also, be sure to check out the other videos, the other lessons, and uh, check out the tabs. I'll tab this one. Mm. Y'all know. <laughs> Not a fan of tabs, but y'all like them, so I'll do them for you. All right, we'll see y'all next time.